The Parque Nacional Cayas was founded in 1996 in the highlands of the western Cordilleras of the South American country of Ecuador. After we've studied a map and completed various formalities, we enter a remarkable natural habitat. A single road travels through the nature park. It leads to a pass and then continues downhill towards the Pacific Ocean. From February to July, the highlands are often foggy and rain and snowstorms are common along with extremely low temperatures. It's the mystical atmosphere that creates the special charm of this mountain region. The landscape resembles a tundra and is mostly located above the timberline. A topographically irregular area that measures around 29,000 hectares. An untouched Paramo region with cleft mountain ridges and deep-lying valleys from which the park's name of Caius is derived. The border areas of the national park are covered with a humid burger forest in which moss, numerous fungi and epiphytes grow. In this remote landscape, there are various types of Paramo grassland, including those of Yareta and Payanal, and in between, mountain flowers. At an altitude of more than 3,000 meters, the wind blows constantly, and even the low-lying grass bends to its power. This wild landscape was designated as a World Heritage Site in 2003. Travelling inland, the mountain road travels higher and higher. Here, nature subtly and gradually transforms itself. There are over 270 lakes and tiny bodies of water here, protected by several small hills. From the road, there's a fine view of this extraordinary region, with all of its drumlins, roche moutonnais, hanging valleys and small lakes. At an altitude of about 3,800 meters is an information center. Within a basin below is the La Torreadora Lagoon. The origin of this area dates back to primordial times, to the Quaternary, when large sections of this region were covered by glaciers, as were the Andes Highlands.
These small ponds and swamps date back to that period. Huge mountains and steep rock walls separate the valleys and high swamps. The glaciers of the last ice age left their traces everywhere. The direction of the movement of the glaciers is easily discernible. And there is much evidence of volcanic activity, such as andesite rock and magmata. All the ponds, swamps and lakes are connected by watercourses. Nature depends upon a good flow of water. The road travels higher and the peaks around the highest mountain, Architectos, disappear into the clouds. In this area, several small highland springs unite and form large rivers that flow into the Pacific in the west and into the Amazonias in the east. The large Yanunse and Tomebomba rivers originate in the nature park and highland basin of Cuenca. The water quality of this region explains the fertile nature of the highlands and why the Canari people and later the Incas settled here. There are also traces of pre-Columbian times and the remains of an ancient Inca road of which several kilometers are still in excellent condition. the road takes us to a mountain ridge. Crosses at the side of the road commemorate the victims of Ecuador's struggle for liberation that once took place in this remote region. From here we descend more than 4,000 meters downwards to as far as the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Here, the rocky landscape looks the same as that previously encountered, but without lakes and swamps. Everywhere, steep slopes and dangerous looking fissures in the rock. After negotiating a few more bends, we reach the frontier post that marks the border of this splendid natural habitat. The Parque Nacional Cayas.